Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Uh, uh, oh baby, you can't tell me nothing, okay? You listen. What's up, basic squad? It's your favorite basic girl, Iris Nicole, and as always, hey, I'm glad to see you're basic too. And if you're new to my channel, hey, how are you? I'm Iris Nicole. I like to make videos such as fashion videos, lifestyle videos, natural hair videos, and the occasional vloggy vlog. So if you like that type of content, you are in the right place. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're feeling your girl. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video now. If y'all clicked on this video, y'all saw the thumbnail, y'all saw the title, so you already kind of know what's going on. Your girl is looking fire. This head of mine, babe, you can't tell me nothing. I knew this was going to happen. I, something about the way that it set told me like, yeah, this is going to be real, real freaking fire. And you're going to be like, it's not, not, not. I was going to get out of hand. But anyways. I am in love with my hair. It has literally been a week, so I did it on Friday. Yeah, I did it on Friday evening. Today is Friday afternoon. And your girl is loving this. Yes, I have a little bit of frizz. That's to be expected. It's been a whole week. But I feel like I can pull off a couple more days of this. She a little... Hmm... In the, in the nape area, she a little crusty dusty because I do pick her out because I like it to be fluffy. I told y'all that. I don't know, but it's something about day five, day four hair for me. I love the volume. My hair usually doesn't give me that much, so it only gets bigger as days progress. But something told me this was going to last for a minute. I did go ahead and refresh the front. You can't really see it, but these curls here, I did kind of refresh them because they were getting frizzy. You can see the top of my head is a little frizzy. I'm going to give you all a close up. And then the back. Oh, baby, <laughs> when I say I found my new wash and go routine, I found my new wash and go routine, baby, because you can't tell me that this is not fire. Now, I do need my ends clipped. Besides that, oh, baby, I want to rock her. I want to see how far I can go with this because, honestly, my curls are intact still, like, which is wild for me because usually I'm a cream girl. When I'm looking in the mirror, so if you see me looking forward, sorry about that. But back to what I was saying. Usually I'm like a cream girl, so I usually only use cream or I do a combination of the both. <clears throat> this is fire. Now she was crunchy that very first day. All I did was use some oil and I just kind of like pressed it or like held it and like did this to it. And then I separated the curls. So she was kind of crunchy that first day. The second day she was cool. I didn't have no problems right now. She's not crunchy. She's soft. She's bouncy. She's flowy. And baby... I am shooketh, shook it. It was so easy breezy. Like, I've truly found my new washing girl routine. But again, I feel like I'm getting long winded. So, if y'all want to see how I exactly achieved the look, keep watching. Run the clip. So, I really don't know how successful this washing girl is going to be. But I wanted to record it just in case it came out like bomb as heck. So, there was a trend about this little gel situation in like a year and a half a year and a half ago or whatever where you use the um extreme gel i haven't really used this, this is my first time actually buying it and actually using this um before i washed my hair i was using it to put like slick my ponytails and stuff uh but i am washed and i am deep conditioned and we're ready to go this has like a weird smell i don't know if you guys have ever used it before but the smell is kind of weird it's like a soapy i don't really know but it's just it's really really weird it says it has aloe vera in it maybe that's probably what i'm smelling like a whiff of some Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So my hair is, again, like I said, washed in deep condition. Um, she kind of damp. I did kind of dry her with um, a t-shirt, but I'm going to go ahead and spray some actual water and deep conditioner on it. And I'm also going to be putting some water on me and some oil in it just so that I can keep it moisturized. So I know gel can be very... What's the word I'm looking for? Drying. So we're going to give it a whoop. As you can see, I began by just drenching the section of hair with water and conditioner. For me, I feel like my curls are their best when they're wet so I like to just make sure that I'm starting off on wet hair so my curls can pop after I'm all wet up I then go ahead and go in with my oil I like to focus directly on my scalp first and then massage for about 30 seconds just to make sure that it's well moisturized then I go to my strands focusing primarily on the ends and working my way up after I'm all oiled up I then go ahead and go in with the gel as you can see I did grab quite a lot 
I feel like the more product you use, the longer the style will last. So that's why I kind of wrap a lot. Once I'm all gelled up, I then go ahead and begin shingling. I like to do the shingle method just because I feel like the curls pop a little bit more. And you don't have to do as much manipulating the curls once it's all dry because they're already kind of separated. So all I'm doing is basically grabbing each individual curl and I'm going from top to bottom just to make sure that the curl pops. Sometimes I will have to twist it around my finger because maybe the curl is going in the wrong direction or it's not setting the way I want it to. But then after I'm done shingling, I then go ahead and just scrunch all of the hair at the bottom just to make sure that the curls at the ends are popping, popping. To get that right, please fall back into these lies. We cool down to different skies. Take your hand, take you out. I'm the one, yeah, and you know that girl. It's enough, babe, to take control of the world. Yeah, hope that you know, babe. I don't wait, getting made, yeah, uh, yeah. Get her paid, she must stay, yeah, uh, yeah. Make her wait, pop it away, yeah, uh, yeah. She no fake, but she my mate, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't wait, getting made, yeah, uh, yeah. Get her pay, she must stay, yeah, yeah. Make her wave, pop it away, yeah, yeah. She no fake, but she my mate, yeah, yeah.
money with you officially done with everything this is the back yes sir this is the side yes sir this is the other side yes sir so my hair probably will take about what time is it now it's 4 45 my hair probably is not going to be dry until probably tomorrow evening because it usually takes a day plus i put a lot of like gel and water on so a lot of product on it and it's really really wet it's like dang near soaking wet so it's going to take some time to dry, but I feel like, y'all can see the definition now. Let me do a close-up real quick and be quick. I just know. This is about to go. Like, I just know that this wash and go is about to be fire. Like, the curls are already popping. I just know this is about to be fire. One thing I will say, though, it, it is kind of getting frizzy. That's because I'm throwing my hair around. But I feel like once this dry, oh, she's going to be popping. I just know it's going to be flat, though. <sighs> I just know it's going to be flat. I can't wait for like day four, day five hair because I feel like that's going to be fire. But anyway, I'm rambling. So this is day one or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and keep this going for a couple of days just to see how it come out. I'm going to keep y'all updated as the weeks go by because I know day after day is going to get fire and bigger and better. So we're going to do what it do. Give me a basic girl. Don't make it complicated. 